you know, all tato maftangale ne fiafi. All tato ministry leaders. So welcome tonight. Come with me to Ezekiel chapter one, verse one to ten. Ezekiel chapter one, verse one to ten. Ezekiel wo nona mta upu momoa, fa upu momoa se fa ngata mal fa upu sfulu. Amol mole la ma. Por todo o fulo da sua chama ou não fala mais nada, por isso nem mora mais nada. Não é em mente a fé a ganhar a tarde e vai ter fé o que é para o avanço a mais longo. O não o não é o fã a língua mais antiga. Por ele não há sobre mais nada. Por o não é em mente a sua chama leia por ter fé a ganhar tudo por ele aqui na. Não o mais é ele a vale a fé o mais ele ia esse tiro lhe ter lhe o possai não se tornar mais. Ele não o quer ter já. Ele a tarde e vai ter fé o que é para na igreja foi a teoria a aula ali e ele me na nova aí falta foi o de afar o sangue do imatu o de altele maliafi o de mura e ia e aia o de pupula foi o fatalio de oi nai de ao mas todo foi a tiro mais e pensa aí o de afos pula mas todo não é afi mas todo foi o de fato só me a olhar lá no lado tiro de lei o de lado tiro de lei o de fato só de tangata e lato Tetasi foi o lato um mono mata e fa. Tetasi foi o mono apa a ui fa. O lato o bai. O bai se sa o ia. Ma o lato o lofi bai. E pei o lofi bai o lato bai bogi. O e emo mai pei o le tino o le apa bimea. O a fa kukula ina. O a ia e foi limo o tangata ina o lato apa a ui. E o lato o itu e fa. O e ate ina ato e fa. O lato o mata ma o lato o apa a ui. O a fa so o ina o lato apa a ui. O le etasi le etasi. Ele iliu ilatou ina ulatou o a ulatou tei tasi maru tonu atu iona luma o le fatu sa fe ulatou mata o ia te ilatou e fa mata o tangata ma mata o le leo na le tu tau matau o ia te ilatou fo e fa mata o le pobi le tu tau mani o ia te ilatou fo e fa mata o le aetu. Amen. Ah, tonight I want to share about the four face man. Fayasi ngumi le titi ole ole mta upule but let me let me simplify it for you for you. Number one, the four face man shows different aspects of of the king's power, the majesty and intelligence. O for linga e fa ole tangata na ya ina. Ole atale na ole malosi po ole po ole manna ole tupu. Ole na mata ngo fie malo na tamai. Ole na lua. The four-faced man represents the four domain of God's rule. Ya po mata iya fa iya tato tele o le tite yo. So I just want to simplify it for you. Excuse me. Because in na olo oyaile le fe au fa pito alava mota tone ita ita. So the four-faced man represents the four domain of God's rule. Yeah, or or for linga na fa olo o ta umayai ya ba enga te tele lava le pu lenga le tua. Now number one, face of a man represents humanity. For linga le tangata, e ta umai yai ya opo o suitu langa mai yai ta tau tangata. Number two, the face of a lion represents the wild animals. Ya o for linga le leona e fa pia nao na represent a ia manuel vau. The face of an ox represents domestic animals. And the face of an eagle represents birds. Yeah, I might tell my, I might say I may your revelations are, they are very, they are very highly symbolic. Yeah, I mean, I yet I yeah put a mago mali mali alang a tau a tele a mo mo symbols here for nga see the Bible use symbols so that it brings out the message. You will know. That Jesus used parables and used parables in order to convey or to communicate a message. Or, 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 or to see, they're very highly symbolic. 
But yeah, yeah, po and my ya mea ya, lang I it mana me a lava. Now in Ishikyo chapter uh put in that off if I up a fool. It's really the revelation of Jesus. Who is the restorer of nations? The image of a spiritual man. Do te manatuala I Ile tu a tu o Jesus que viso malona i tu tangata. Olona i tu tangata na sao e fai aila na ngaluenga i le lolangi. And so this is the revelation of the qualities of Jesus when he came to do and to carry out his mission here on earth. Now there are many there are many interpretations but let me bring out a revelation from from uh, verse 10. These are the qualities of Jesus. Now, <clears throat> you're going to understand uh, Ezekiel now was ministering to the exiles. Now, after 70 years, after, uh, after 70 years in exile, now the Lord God gave Ezekiel the revelation. But this revelation was highly symbolic. But the revelation points to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, let us go through the four faces. Number one, the face of a man represents wisdom and understanding. The man Jesus excel in wisdom. The man Jesus excel in understanding. Alwalu lumo le poto fa mai watupu le tama. Watupu fo e male malona poto malona tamai. So the knowledge of the of of Jesus Christ really excel in doing his ministry. The knowledge of God's word. Ole mele o foi kangata. Ina wasawi e su fai tau le tu sipa ia ilumo o o le o le o francese mo le tu si upu. Ma fa matala le winga o le tu la fono le tu. I know where shop. They they ask, uh, where did this little boy Jesus uh, came with this all of this knowledge? But they had no they had no idea that Jesus Christ was a man excelling in knowledge. Hallelujah. Now let's have a look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 2 to 3 from the Mole. Jesus as man. Oh, yes, we are talking about Jesus in his manhood. I let you feel yes, we are talking about Jesus in his manhood. Now, if you are not going to be able to do it, you will be able to do it. There you are. Jesus Christ and my Uyateya le Poto Umalava Malemala Malama. Jesus had all the knowledge, he had the understanding, he had the wisdom, he had everything. It sounds like a sue a ministry. When he came to do his ministry, he didn't just come to do the ministry and then to, uh, and then for to alen a yesung i meor kusipaia. No, when he came to do the ministry, he came with the knowledge and understanding and wisdom. Ile ifa pe na tau yesu to tau sue ko e kaufai kausa kusipaia ma ko e kaufai ngi simia. No, he came to do the ministry. And he had already prepared, he had the wisdom, he had the knowledge, he had the understanding. Ministries. So when we come to do ministry, we must understand that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding it is so required. And that's why I'm not a mere man. I'm not a 
Why we are doing training, you need to learn. Because ele ai se so tato we o fa ile ngalo nga e ke ela ku fa ya u kango e ke le mala mala mai la u mela e fa. Amen leaders. Amen leaders. You have to know what you are doing. So, for example here, when the Bible says the face of a man, he it was talking about Jesus Christ who had the wisdom and understanding. Where when he came to do the ministry, he didn't he didn't just land on the way. He came already had wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I will now to ole atale na wa amai Jesus mokako. Ole ko kena la wisdom ate to turn ole leadership. Ele fie fie le mele ole. Ele fie fie le mele ole knowledge. Ele fie fie ele fie fie le understanding. Ele fie fie mala mala mai mele. O te vatu a oisi kanga ka. They just come and attend. They never take notes. They never increase in knowledge. They never increase in understanding. But here's what Jesus did. But my, he was excelling. He excelled in wisdom. He excelled in understanding. He uh, he excelled in knowledge. But from my ya ya inga te ita. O Jesus ke wiso la o le akale ya na fata ti ya my Jesus mo tato. Ya excel ka ko le wisdom ko excel ta to le knowledge mo le understanding. Me fanga le ino fa ya to. Take notes. Find your notes. Find your notes or notes. I can call it for you. I have a question. 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 You excel in understanding. Hallelujah. Father, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. I'm going to do a report. 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 The law gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. I'm going to do a report. The law gives wisdom. And from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. I'm going to do a report. I'm going to do a report. Mal mal malama, mea u malava e amai le tua le mal malama le kako ki amai fa yelta tonga luenga, alleluia lo. Fata oto e lua fa yupo mua e o le lua Proverbs two verse one to two. Watali e, afaite talia o kuma 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 Turning your ear to wisdom and applying knowledge and understanding. <clears throat> it is crucially important. When the Bible says, my son, that is God talking to us. We are his children. Accept my words and store my commands within you. Turning your ear to wisdom and applying knowledge and understanding. It is crucially important. When the Lord Jesus came along a deep desire for three years is to learn to have the knowledge, to have the wisdom. So he demonstrated wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in front of them for three years. And after three years, guess what? Peter understood theology. Peter understood everything about God and the rest of the disciples. You read their writings and you will know that these people within three years, they had learned all the necessary information among our it is crucially important. Hallelujah. Uh, during the COVID pandemic, this is what I've learned during the pandemic. I have learned 
that we're going to have to rethink the whole way to do ministry. Because the normal way we used to do ministry does not exist no more. We now have to wear a mask and we now have to, wear, to keep the distance. Hallelujah. So when it comes to evangelism, we can't do evangelism because we're not allowed to do it. So we're going to have to rethink the whole way to do evangelism. Hallelujah. Because we are not allowed to do evangelism. If we have fallen behind in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then the church is in trouble. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If we don't, if we don't pick up, if we don't pick up now, if we, if we don't tap into wisdom, wisdom will tell us how to do it safely and how to do church according to the rules. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding will tell us how, how, to, uh, how to understand technology. Hallelujah. Second Peter 1, 3, if I'm going to move. The divine power of God has been given to us. We have the Holy Spirit. We've got the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit that lives inside us. The Lord God gave us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit can give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He will also direct us and guide us how to do mission. Hallelujah, Lord. But pay none of Ali, my young Paia, Ma or Wina Tato, young Paia, pay for the fair on the Tato, or if I did not. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, Lord, God's word. God's word is within our reach. O Nayaki oil, Kuspaia, O Nayaki oil, Upolia, too. Hallelujah, Lord. O Lord, Yale Potto, let a mine, my father, anything that we need. Hallelujah, Lord. It's a ton of young Paia, let two Number three, God has also provided. He has also provided the material things that we so require in order for us to carry out mission. So, when the Bible talks about the face of a man, it was, it was referring to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ came as a man. He came with all wisdom and all understanding and all knowledge to carry out. Back in the days... They did not have the technology. I don't know how Jesus did it. But back in the days, Jesus did and used and did mission according to what was available. And as knowledge and wisdom uh, told him, that's how he carried out the mission. We're now, we're now can't do evangelism. Uh, uh, we, I don't know how we're going to, now we're going to have to rethink the whole way to do it. Hallelujah, Lord. But that's, that's where you need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. O ila. Do not ignore wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Jesus Christ excelled in wisdom. He excelled in knowledge. He excelled in understanding. Hallelujah, Lord. 
o kako fa mai tangata o le au so e le ya onga la to o ke le ka o ke le akri in nga kala o ina fa mai le ya onga la so three years they have sat under the best teacher there's no theologian before and after and beside that is equal to Jesus Christ. And the disciples spent three years learning from the master. So when people say, that's not true. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. They spent three years learning from the master. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, I'm not saying what they got the old Bible college. I am saying that as leaders, it is now time for us to rise up and take wisdom and knowledge and understanding as some of your most value assets. Or may I pick a silly and a taua, a tato, a lingal wing, a leatua, or low potto, malo malama, maleta mai. I walk a fuck ya, ya kyoi, ale, I mean, a fang a ta, love and a fighting alwena. Alleluia, Lord. If I'm a molipo, man, a malama, my melee, tata, about what do I? Yoi. Man, I'm not me, I'm not me, I love, pa mole mole. But when I tell you now, I fight a co training, please attend the training. Alleluia, Lord. It's for you. A alarm fight training, eh? For you to complete your assignment. So that you will. Finish the assignment that the Lord Jesus gave us to do or gave you to do. Hallelujah, Lord. Number two, the face of a lion. Now, the face of a lion represents strength and boldness. Face of a lion represents strength and boldness. Now, Lion excel in strength and bonus. Menga le yonga ele fo isemea. Awon ol manga ya ya. Ole a face of a lion represents strength and bonus. Lion excel in strength and bonus. Proverbs 30 verse 30 fa mole mole la ma. Ole ole na ma so si ma wa fa ele le fo o ya yu mo se tasi. So if I tell my Allah, I'll have a word. Lion is mighty among the beasts. And do not turn away from any. Lion is mighty among the beasts. And does not turn away from any. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Ole makwa Paul ole leonga, ole makwa Malosi ole leonga. Ole leonga e Malosi e lefo. Alleluia Lord. Ole leonga la a face of a lion represents strength and boldness. Alleluia Lord. Ole leonga la ole 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 quality lea. This is one of the the quality that Jesus had. Our quality, the letter of matter. So we see the Bible calls Jesus the Lion of Judah. And why do you think the Bible calls Jesus Lion of Judah? Now Jesus is not a lion, but the quality that was in Jesus was the quality of a lion that never turns back. Ele fo, e po, e malos. Ava fong me o lesi le quality e matoi mana o mi alavai. So se tanga te te ita ya la o mi ni sinai te ai. Bonus and strength. Hallelujah Lord. Fata o te lusu mo le valfa mo mo Proverbs twenty eight verse one. Esosolo e abiolema, aolea ise tuliloa, aolea abiotolu, 
The righteous are as bold as like a lion. The face of a lion there is the quality, it's, a, it's a symbolic of the quality that is so needed. In fact, the quality of Jesus, that's the reason why the Bible calls Jesus the Lion of Judah. Because Jesus was strong and he was bold and he lived for Jesus. See, even the cross, he went to the cross. I go, okay, no, go. Quality a a <laughs> <laughs> See, the lion protects the territory. Lion, they, they, they protect the territory. Now, protecting the territory is symbolic of protecting the atmosphere. Now that is symbolic. That your role and my role is to protect the atmosphere. Protect the atmosphere, guard the environment. Guard the atmosphere and guard the room. Or if you are going to go to the ministry, I ain't going to have a tupu tupu vesi. I am going to have a pena on a face malosi. Hallelujah. Your job is to protect the anointing atmosphere. Hallelujah. Or the quality of the light and the oil to spray a wing a year soon. The quality Protect the atmosphere. Hallelujah. You are bold, you are strong, you guard the atmosphere. Now, I my Poleale, go kill Oleo, my moil at two, my go ever fefele leonga. Hallelujah. Only man I'm a two, that's one quality of my quite needed lover, you go come on the ministry. Manga Luanga night and a Luai. Hallelujah. Ole, ole, lion represents strength and bonus. The quality that is needed for mission, for malosi, malelotu tele, for fong mai fa mole mole. Ole si le quality ya manau mi ay tono la minuti, ole fa malosi, malolotu tele. Ole quality ya manau mi ya, mi ay ta tu manau mi ay tono fa is to guard the territory and protect the atmosphere of anointing and growth. Protect the like a cold atmosphere there. Ay ay lo se ta ngat ma lo si ma ta ngat pa o ho le le song pa o hallelujah lo. Our job is to protect the atmosphere there. Ma ya e pui pui le atmosphere. Hallelujah lo. Lo na tolu. It's a face of an ox. Now, the ox in the Bible speaks of diligence and patience. Yeah, I tell the male the diligence or tanga tafu lele, tanga tafu lele ngalu e malosi e committed. Ile ngatere na 
en a lue malosi commit a on sa. Alleluia lo. Wa yai le stanga te en a lue malosi e commit ya a son fai kanaka. Yo e. But the face of an ox, Alleluia lo, speaks of diligence and patience. Ox excel in diligence and patience. Ole mele ole, ole oti. Committing a lue malosi, I tell you on the side. If a malosi le oti, tell you on the side le oti. Now I'm not saying that you an ox. I am saying that this is a simple. It's the quality that is needed. Or the thing our quality the element of mere unweary discharge of work has to do with patience and constancy in labor. Yeah, let us ask more. Or the thing that they live by by. Now look here. Five million on the side. Ele aí se tem me fa pena ou não fa vai vai aí. Olha, tá se ele a quality ou lo ou mano me a lava e tanga ta ngalu lua e tu tono ou ngalu e ngalu e tua. Olha, me leu lo fa malosi malo ou não sai ngalu e malosi. Always have a turning up attitude, turn up attitude, a tent attitude. Aleluia lo. Now, the man I allow you to find out to Proverbs 14, verse 4, from the Mole Lamba. Are there any poppy? Or my man for a poppy? I tell him my mother, my little man, who's your poppy? Man, I hear you. Or the first time, my man, I'll find a toy in all the, all the ox, all the poppy. Yeah, it is a poppy, it is a ox. Yo, I, it is a man, I found a pet, found a pet poppy. From a strength of an ox come abundant harvest. Ole malosi ole ox. E tele ai le sele selenga. Afon mai ole malosi ole oti. E tele ai le sele selenga. A strength of an ox brings abundant harvest. Harvest. Ava fong mai la ole si le mea e fa matala mai ta tong le mea lea being productive in your ministry, being productive in in what you are doing. La oe nga lue nga ma la ministry na te nga lue ai being productive in your own ministry. Alleluia lo. Ba mea le ma lo si le oti e te le ai le se le se le nga. Alleluia lo. Now strength is a much needed quality. Fa mai le fa sa mo nga ne te le mea mo wa mai le ma lo si le povi. An ox is a powerful muscular animal. Ele ai se me mo lo fa vai vai. Ele ai se me mo le lo to vai vai. Alleluia lo. Ai te le le se le lenga pe a ta to lo to te tele. Alleluia lo. Now an ox represents our seal for service. Le no no te ingo le loto ya ya ngalu e ma una. An ox represents the willingness to do the work. An ox represents the willingness to sacrifice. An ox represents the willingness to serve others. An ox represents the patient and constant labor. An ox na te suitu langa ina le ono sai fa pale pale malenga lue malos. Alleluia lo. O mea ye me tuwa i manao mea lava ili tangata o lo ngaru lue. It's very needed in ministry. Because I tell you, e o o mai aso e lango na ili vai vai. Ale oti e fa malos. E o o mai aso e le e fe kawi yai kuwa ku lunga wole e fe kawi vai. Ya e me se ma kowi yau fa so so lunga ma tutua. E i kai me kuwa ku lunga wole e wose sapa solo vai. Alleluia Lord. Ole Otila, it represents the male of the Malosi. You don't, you don't, 
you know, sort of give in to how you feel. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, we present thing I love for my lossy, love for pale pale, my long alu and my loss. Hallelujah, Lord. And number four, the face of an ego. Now, an ego represent quickness and strong, clear vision. Clear sight and an ego waste no time. Face of an ego represents quickness, strong, clear sight, and waste no time. Ole aeto e fa penao na fa matala mai atato vave ko e masau le vai ele fa alu vale aina le taimi. Hallelujah. Now, if you if you if you watch an eagle, when an eagle spot a target, pa akilo kilo mai le aeto. Ego will focus on the target and the ego does not look away from the target. He spot the target from way above and then the ego so fast, dive with an absolute focus on the target. And the eco will dive down, grab the target. He doesn't look sideways. This is one of the, the most needed quality, Yakako. Is that you are so focused on the target. That's where you put your focus on. You do not take your focus off the target. So you're single, your single mindedness. Why is focus lava in the target? While the man is later deviated, the ego will not be disturbed by anything. This is one of the most common problems with many people. Is that we get sidetracked. Kill your mare, disturb by Kako. A sidetracked by Kako, in Kako, in Mare, Mare, in your Langa, I lay focus like the Melena, my lay to a tattoo. Pamon Molly, a Kofuka home, my assignment, a woman, my lay to a tattoo with a tattoo. So an ego is fast, it doesn't hang around. It happens very fast, it is achieved very fast, it's done very fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I care what or my kiki out or the more poor povi polala one mele I call a mai. I care who call a ayakula echo up a car, my I sing in this people care who call a pio or yay. The eco will focus on the target and never sidetrack by anything. Hallelujah, Lord. Or let's see melon or lua el aeto, or the aeto and maulunga, a lele maulunga. I went on the ecos from higher bar. Look down on earth. So the egos sees problems that small. Egos does not see problems that big. Now this is a, this is another lesson for us. An ego it's not bothered by problems here because ele ele or kilo kilo la eko le meke le le ka ke la ka la ka yai or ma ma le 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 la le le la eko ka ma me a fa pe na or ko ke la si ka ka they get sidetracked by small problems like ka ma me a lava yeah me ho le le 
Only lot of people are not going to be able to do not going to be able to do it. That's a very minor, that's a very. You have no idea what's going on. So, you can't have a mail with a side director. But you can't have a mail with a side director. You can't have a mail with a side director. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Le ikong haleluya e mamao na ba ay e clear lang asay. Ile ay mas e may fan ni nefu. Ile mga umiya sa ay ko kusa po le ay fast food ko usang ala ay ko. Ile mga umiya sa bakapi ala bakale fan. Yeah, pero matawi yung fan amat. Makuakili ay le ba ay le ay ko. Le ay mas e may fan ni nefu. Haleluya lo. Ale la fan to le si le a o le si le a quality e man matuwa man na umiya la vay ta ita yung ministry. When you take the word of God, you look at the word of God so clear because you so understand the word of God. There is no misinterpretation. There is no mispresentation. Mm -hmm. The word of God must be so clear. It must be so clear to us. Hallelujah, Lord. These are the four qualities that I believe the Lord Jesus came and he represented. It's not Moses. It's not Jeremiah. It's not Elijah. It's not any of those guys. The four-faced man was really the four qualities that Jesus had in his ministry from the start to the finish. Hallelujah, Lord. Not one single part of the ministry of the The face of a man, hallelujah, Lord, represents wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah, Lord. The face of a lion, hallelujah, Lord, represents strength and bonus. The face of an ox represents diligence and patience. And the face of an eagle represents, hallelujah, Lord, quickness, strong, clear sight, and waste no time. Hallelujah, Lord. Or qualities here, and matua in manao mia lava in the tattoo and alwenga, et in manao mia, or to manao mia, in a yamafayo on a fat town winner, lenga alwenga and a val away oi. After all, tattoo ainga tai tai. We are all going to be standing before the Lord, giving an account of our assignment. We're going to tell the Lord, this was my assignment given to me, this is what I've done. I did my best, hallelujah, Lord, and then the Lord will make a judgment on that. I'm now me alava, yava enga yefa, ina iya mafai ona fa tino ila ngalwenga. To the best of your ability, hallelujah, Lord. By your tato, we all have to learn from this. We all have to learn from uh, from the quality of Jesus, so that we will have the wisdom and understanding and knowledge. We need, a, we need a, a, an attitude of a lion, strength and bonus. We need an attitude of an ox. We need a, an attitude of, a, of, of an eagle. That when you see problem, like a small problem. Don't be discouraged by little problems. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah, my toy, my mouth over I, yeah, to the Tilo, to the Mela, Leo, Fina, Alwell, to the Tilo, Listamata, and especially the people under us. They don't, they can only see so much, but we need to see with clarity from as far as you can see. Hallelujah, Lord. But when we are two old tato, I in a near fiat, or la ulea tato, uh, tato, I in a day tie, is that Pamole Molly. That you don't just call a leader in your ministry and not doing anything about your ministry. If you are leading the couple's ministry, your job is to read the Bible about how to improve marriage relationships. 
If your ministry is women, then your job is to learn, get all the information that you so needed. ministry. If you are looking after the men's ministry, hallelujah, Lord, your job is to go and look for wisdom and information in the ministry. If your ministry is Sunday school, your job is to learn about children and how they receive information. If your, if, your, if your ministry is prayer ministry, your job is to go and read about prayers. Can lay your information like Momo Kusi like Kongo Momo. Or bookshop, go buy a book on prayers. Like Tele Isikusi Ngai, where I can help you. Read the Bible. Why Okamakanga? They spend years and hours researching. Hallelujah, Lord. Wa umana tu ya ili poto mani atamai. And when I talk about job life, I should go read books. The so swang ya ki oi. Please, don't just be called a leader of a ministry and you're not improving. It may not be a low quality malamalama. Mala, mala. You need to know how to run your ministry. Hallelujah, Lord. If your ministry is praise and worship, teach people how to worship. And especially teach a team how to worship. Hallelujah, Lord. If your ministry or Okia Congo, well, then, you know, your, your, your job is to uh, teach the deacons and encourage them uh, to do the best they can do. Hallelujah, Lord. If your ministry is evangelism, we're going to have to rethink the ways how to do uh, evangelism because, you know, now we're in the middle of the pandemic and things are very tough. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah, but if youth ministry, your job is to learn and understand how to work with the young people. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah, if for la we are la wa ngalweng ay fai is to go and read and understand. Yeah, mo kilo kilo we are equating our qualities here because the four face man is the four qualities that we so needed to carry out our ministry effectively. From really two or that to ainga, or lot of long on a lay aim, lot of no no to ainga is to help you understand. I'm hoping that you take that tonight and understand from the morning. You're in a yam fire on a fish or so on here to oil or minishing I find. Yeah, from really two or that to ainga nevia that of I little talo. Tama for you to be in a yet to oil. I've tied over one a lay. Thank you, Lord. For the Holy Spirit who enlighten us, Lord God, with your word so that we may understand and simplify your word to your people so that we know how to live our lives and to complete the call and the ministry that you have called us to do. We bless you, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen and amen. amen. One, two, three. To God, God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. amen.